So you're the most winning like um, Brio artist to, to get the grant from. Yeah, I think that's the, yeah, the thing, that's the record yeah. for for the Bronx Council. Well, of you Arts. know, at some point Bill Aguado said, you know, enough already. You know, give somebody else a chance. So I kind of, but you know, I mean, I love the way you guys set it up so that it's new people right on the jury every year, and it's. It, you know, you have that chance to, to win a few times. Uh, luckily, my career has evolved to the degree that I'm not, I mean, at, at, when I first got it, it was a significant thing. I won the first year that, that it was given. They had the ceremony at the Bronx Museum. Do you remember what you they, used? Yeah. They gave a big, like a big version of the check. I remember holding it up. <laughs> Do you remember what the money went to? The first, that first grab? What I saying? did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Exactly. I, I because I, um, well, I, I don't know what the time sequence was, but uh, I offered to uh, curate a show at, at Crasdale. And that was their, I think it was their first year of doing such things. And uh, I wound up bringing in nine artists and, you know, worked with them to do the catalog. And then, you know, I mean, wound up being the, you know, chief cook and bottle washer, you know, picking up work, selecting work, hanging work. I mean, it was, it, they got their money's worth for that, for that gig. After that, it was like, I'll do a lecture, you know, do a slideshow or something. This was crazy. But it was fun, and it kind of, uh, I mean, I've had an ongoing relationship with, with Sig Balka and, Kras, you know, Mr. Krasny and the Krasdale peoples all along, so that was a good kind of, uh, you know, introduction to working with them. I, in fact, this last summer I, I did a show, I, I helped organize a show at Crasdale after it was the 20th uh, anniversary of doing these things. So. I can talk about specific ways that the Bronx Council on the Arts has supported me. Um, for example, when I've gotten calls from uh, city arts uh, from the Bronx uh, New York Botanical Gardens uh, for you know when there was a, uh, a mural project that I was recommend you know people had approached the Bronx Council and asked them uh, to recommend somebody to do a mural in the Botanical Gardens and I was recommended for that, or even more recently for this Art of the Five uh, that was, that's, was t is taking place at the, uh, the Inter-Church Center in Manhattan, uh, and uh, the curator approached the Bronx, people at the Bronx Council to ask about former Brio winners that might be people who are appropriate to be included in this exhibit, and that's how they found me. So these are, you know, the, the Bronx Council has been a resource, it's been a focal point where people who are, need to uh, connect with artists in the Bronx for various projects, you know, will come to the uh, Bronx Council and ask them and, and uh, you know, because I've had uh, positive uh, dealings with the Bronx Council over the years, uh, they have uh, recommended me for various uh, things that have, you know, been very uh, rewarding uh, uh, projects to be involved with. So I think that's, that's you know, the way that uh, I've experienced the Bronx Council in a very positive way, whether it was, you know, with, uh, you know, Ed Friedman or, or Bill Aguado or whoever it was over the years or Edwin... Uh, Ramoran or uh, Eddie Pagan or you know whoever whoever I've dealt with uh, you know it's been uh, very you know supportive and in, in knowing and, and 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 comforting to know that there's an organization out there that uh, is advocating for the arts in the Bronx, which is such an important role to be playing. I would just like to wish the Bronx Council on the Arts a very happy 50th anniversary.